what I was saying about Shirley Strawberry and this man she married to is that I don't understand what we are here talking about. First of all, why are the prison calls to this man all over the place? Like, who's releasing the audio from the jail calls? Number two, Shirley, we know this man has a mistress. Ever since he went to jail and his court appearance, which he was not present for, but his lawyer was there for, we heard a snippet of that. And the judge said, well, the, the prosecution was asking for him to stay away from children and animals. And when I look at this man, this looks like an untrustworthy man. This looks like a man that will have sex with women, that will have sex with men, that will just do whatever they need to do so that they can control the person that they're with so that their life can be easier. That's what it feels like. And I don't even know this man, but I'm looking at him and I'm looking at her. And I feel like Shirley Strawberry is one of those, you know, I was good in school and I did what I was supposed to do. And because of that, you know, I've, I've probably spent a large part of my adult life alone and I come into contact with a man and this man is saying all the right things and making all the right moves. And then all of a sudden I'm allowing him access to me and my life and my associates. And now he's in prison and he has a mistress, but I'm still on the phone with him, making sure that he's doing well while he's in jail. Like I, I'm looking at Shirley, like, are we, we, we just desperate for men? I mean, I know we are like, not me, like not we, but I know women are desperate for men, especially once they've gotten older and they feel like, oh no, I'm so scared. I'm going to die alone. Oh. You know, and they just start to feel like they'll go along with any old thing just to have partnership. And I I wish that women would not do that. Like, I wish that once a man shows you he cannot be trusted, once a man shows you that something is amiss, you would exercise this man from your body, okay? From your life, all right? Get, get him away from you. But instead... Instead... You over here on the jailhouse phone trying to make sure he feel good about himself. Girl, I... Then people down to the courthouse ask for him to stay away from children and animals. That doesn't give me good signs. So let's go ahead and listen to what the man... I mean, what was said on one of these audios. Because there's, num there's numerous audios, y'all, for some reason. Again, I don't know who is at the jailhouse releasing the audio. But I don't know why y'all are doing this. Like, why are y'all releasing this jailhouse audio between them? When she didn't file for divorce amongst these allegations coming out and him going to jail, she basically let it be known she was going to stick beside him. Why are they telling us about, you know, the, the why do we care about conversations about how great Marjorie Harvey's life is? Like, it's weird. Like, I don't know. I don't know what the point of this is. But let, let, let's listen to the clips I've seen. Yeah, I mean, but like you say, everybody has a lot going on in their on their own level. That is true. And his wind is going up the up those stairs. He was he really out, woo, He was really out of breath. For yeah. real? Yeah, yeah. What about the, what about them pills? He's how much you gonna get? They work pills. It's like a superfood power a uh, powder. Uh -huh. It's not. I thought it was pills too. I wish it was because it'd be easier to take. But this is like. Um, you know, sometimes I, I take those powders and put them in a the blender with ice. That's what this is. Oh, does it work? I don't know. I just got it yesterday. <laughs> Did he say it worked for him? Yeah, he said it worked. He said you won't have any inflammation and all that because my knees really hurt. You going to be able to walk up and down the stairs? I do it every day, 10 times a day. <laughs> <laughs> I may okay, not be as fast. Okay. Yeah, I mean, as fast as I was. <laughs> but, yeah, I, I push myself. I make myself do it. Okay, well, hey, guess what? That, well, you snapped back then. Okay, mm -hmm. all right, then. I, I forgot about that. I forgot all about that. Yeah, I okay. still have quick reflexes. Don't don't let it – don't be fooled. Okay. <laughs> My, <laughs> still have quick reflexes, yes. <laughs> okay, all right, then. Well, then that's good. Then that's good, then. That's good. <laughs> You know what? They have a uh, Marjorie has her own spa, her own workout room, and her own spa. 
and she could go in there and get um, massages every day. People come to her house and um, damn, uh, and work her out and all of that. I was like, oh god, what a dream! <laughs> Does she look old though? Does she look like she's getting old? No, I haven't seen her, but she looks good on her pictures. Oh, she ain't there. No, she's not there. If she was there, we probably wouldn't have been all over the house. <laughs> <laughs> but he's done it. No, you know he's scared. Damn, sure right. God, what you say? You know he's scared. God, <laughs> all of that. Yeah, but, yeah everything. I, I knew I wasn't supposed to be in there, but he he brought us in, so I said okay. <laughs> but I mean, I'm glad he did because it gives you a chance to dream. You know, it's like wow, have a sauna in your house, have a steam room. You know, all the things that you go outside of the house to do. Not that, but things like that I would love to have inside so I wouldn't have to go outside for those. You know, like get my hair done, get my nails done, get a massage. You know, Damn. people come to you. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, and then she gets in these little, um, you've seen these, um, these chambers where people get in. You know, like, remember they used to talk about Michael Jackson having that uh, tube-like thing he used to get in? Yeah. Oh damn! Yeah. Okay, yeah. Well, I remember that. Like, yeah, she's got she's got stuff like that in her in her spot, which is really cool, you know. What the change? So do? yeah, huh? I guess it helps your skin, you know, stay tight, and you know, like it's it's light therapy that um ultraviolet light. Damn. It helps. It yeah. I mean, they got you know, it's really cool the things that they have. You know, it's like, man, I would love to have stuff like that, you know, to be able, you know, like for my knees, for example, just go in there, you know, get a massage, get my knees worked on, you know, all of that. They got all of that kind of stuff. Like she'll have a chiropractor come to the house. You know, it's just really cool. Damn. Mm-hmm. Are they so trying to They got to money. They got money. They got money. <laughs> but is, does he use that stuff or he just look at it? He got a big gigantic gym, like like huge with all kinds of state of the art equipment. I mean, I'm not working out, but at least I'm walking. I'm trying. I wasn't winded going up those stairs. I tell you that. <laughs> he was breathing like for real. Yes. Yes. Damn. I he know. Got all, I he got all that stairs, all that stuff in there, doing all that. Yeah, he was really. I was really surprised about that. So basically, he got a gym that he don't use. Steve Harvey got a gym he don't use, and a wife got a spa, and she look at Shirley Strawberry and the rest of them people that work down to the radio station with him like they to help. Um, yeah, I could understand. She don't want y'all in her house, and he let y'all in in the house for you to see all of the things that they have, so he can showboat, and it it, it had its desired effect. I don't know why y'all giving us this audio. I don't know why y'all giving us this audio. I mean. From the audio, I can tell that he just wants somebody to call him and talk to him because he's in jail. And she's just giving him the ins and outs of her day so that he could have somebody to talk to. I mean, I'm sure he has other people to talk to. Let's see what the other audio was. What well, well, go. <laughs> you know what? They have a, a Marjorie has her own spa, her own workout room and her own spa. And she could go in there and get um, massages every day. People come to her house and um, damn, uh, and work her out and all of that. I was like, oh god, what a dream! <laughs> Does she look old though? Does she look like she's getting old? No, I haven't seen her, but she looks good on her pictures. Oh, she ain't there. No, she's not there. If she was there, we probably wouldn't have been all over the house. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like I don't know what y'all thought was being said. Everybody that's reporting on this situation, <laughs> I don't know what y'all thought was being said in this conversation. Like, I don't know what y'all thought y'all were hearing, but this ain't nothing for y'all to be reporting on. Like, I feel like y'all are trying so hard to, like, make this story stick that there's something so tumultuous going on with Steve Harvey and Marjorie Harvey. 
yo, it, it's really as simple as the dope dealer's girlfriend graduated to a celebrity. Like, it's really the story of the girl that knew how to manipulate the right man to get what she was trying to get. And so what? I don't know why everybody, like, I don't get it. Like, I understand that Marjorie Harvey may not be the nicest person, but a lot of y'all are not the nicest people, whether y'all have money or not. So I don't know what the point of this audio was. Um, she didn't say anything bad about Marjorie. She didn't. She just said that Marjorie wouldn't have wanted them all up and through her house like that. I, I don't understand. Like, yeah, it's all the same conversation. There was another conversation, though, um, with his mistress, because he has a mistress. He has a side chick. And him and the side chick was on the phone and he was talking about when she sends him, you know, the, 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 the pictures and all of that like he liked. I thought I saved it, but I guess I didn't. But let me just say this about that. I feel like essentially they might have posted this story. Because the last time we heard audio, which was like not that long ago, the, the last time we heard audio from Ernesto in the jailhouse, he was talking to his mistress about the, the nudes that he wanted her to send or whatever. You know, you like that? <laughs> so it sounds like a man that got a side chick and got a main chick. And he talked to him on the phone while he in jail. And they got one of them that probably, you know, tends to his sexual needs. And the other one that tends to his financial needs. And the one that tends to his financial needs is Shirley Strawberry. That's what it sounds like to me. I don't know why y'all acting like this is like surprising or abnormal for jailhouse love. You know, this is usually how it goes. They normally have more than one woman that they have access to. Because they need to be able to call somebody at any given moment because they don't have nothing going on. And so the woman that they really need, which is the woman that is Shirley Strawberry, you need her money. You need her, you know what I'm saying, her connections. He was even talking about going to stay at Steve Harvey's house or some shit like that. It was weird. Um, I don't know what the point is because I feel like these audio you know, recordings might be being released in order to showcase something, but just come out and say whatever it is that you're trying to showcase. But saying that Shirley Strawberry said something messy about Marjorie Harvey is not what I heard. So he was passionate with the mistress because that's the person that he's getting the sex from. That's the person who he gets, you know, um, um, you know, that gets his little, you know, his situation together. Like, turned on by he gets turned on by one of them and the other one is to meet the other needs this is not difficult i don't know i, I also know that when i look at both of them i just feel sad for Sir shirley strawberry that she's the type of woman that would be with a man with all of this shit going on and you still sitting on the phone having jailhouse conversations with him coming from steve harvey house like i get it but it sounds like you know she sounds like a young-minded older lady and that's that's kind of sad Thank you for being a member for 10 months, CCB. I think people are more shocked how naive Shirley is being. She lost her home car and wedding ring to pay the victims. Girl, what? Excuse me? Let me look this up. Girl, let me look this up. Because this is why I wanted to talk to y'all about it. Because I was like, girl, what is going on? I need for it to make sense. Because it's not feeling like it's making sense. You know what I'm saying? Uh, let's see. Steve Harvey sidekick sued for being deadbeat tenant. Okay, that 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 was in that was in 2017, child. Okay, hold up, hold up, child. Not her serving up love advice. Trying to see if I can find something, you know, on the Google. I'm looking on the Google because I'm not about to pull up no YouTube video for this. Like, I'm just not. Um, But yeah, like these jail calls, like they're posting them in parts. So, uh, phone calls from prison is who's posting them. That's so weird. Okay. Shirley Strawberry, the co-host of the popular radio show, The Steve Harvey Morning Show, has revealed that she was scammed by her husband of six years, Ernesto Williams. In an emotional video posted on her Instagram account, Shirley said that Ernesto had been lying to her about his identity, his finances, and his intentions. She said that he had used her name and credit cards to buy 
Oh, I'm sorry, her credit to buy cars, houses, and other luxury items without her knowledge or consent. She also said he had been cheating on her with multiple women, some of whom who had, he had impregnated. Shirley said that she found out the truth when she hired a private investigator to look into Ernesto's background. She said that she was shocked and devastated by what she discovered. She said that she felt betrayed, humiliated, and heartbroken. She said that she had loved Ernesto and trusted him with her life. She said that she had no idea how he could do this to her and why he would do this to her. Shirley said that she was sharing her story to warn other women who might be in a similar situation. She said she wanted to help them to avoid the pain and suffering that she had gone through. She said that she hoped that they would learn from her mistakes and listen to their intuition. She said that she wished that she paid more attention to the red flags and signs that something was wrong. She said that she regretted ignoring the advice of her friends and family who had warned her about Ernesto. Girl, they warned you? Shirley said that she was trying to heal and move on from this ordeal. She said she was grateful for the support of her fans, colleagues. She said that she was relying on faith. All of this. She said all of this. Here's the problem. You still fucking with him. Like you still, you still on the jailhouse having conversations with this man that like, that's crazy. Girl, Shirley made blog headline. Da, 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 da. And Thursday's leaked jailhouse audio from November, 2022, Shirley feared that her job may be in jeopardy. If it got out publicly that her husband was in jail for fraud and other serious charges. Shirley 69 says she spoke with her boss, Steve, who reminded her of a conduct clause in her contract from iHeartRadio in Atlanta. Steve reportedly said Shirley to, dis to distance herself from Ernesto, who she would risk losing her or she would risk losing her job. Shirley's career began in Chicago as co-host of Doug Banks show. She was later offered a gig with the beat on KKBTFM in Los Angeles before landing a job on the Steve Harvey Morning Show. In the latest leaked phone call, a nervous Shirley seemed to anticipate losing her job. She told Ernesto she might move to Los Angeles after losing everything, including her home, car, and $200,000 wedding ring. Ernesto subtly told her to walk away and do what you got to do. But Shirley dug in her heels. Well, honey, let me ask you this. I'm asking you this because I want to be crystal clear, she said. You're not talking about divorce, are you? In a phone call leaked on September 6th, express, uh, Shirley expressed envy over the ultra lavish lifestyle. Okay. Shirley talked about Steve's high maintenance wife. Okay. So this was supposed to be her being jealous. Okay. You know what? Marjorie has her own, you know, all of that. Okay. She looks at us as the help. Well, honey. Yeah. Um, Shirley also commented on her boss, Steve's poor health, saying he has difficulty breathing while walking up the stairs in his mansion. Yeah, Steve Harvey has always pretended that he worked out and got surgery. He's been doing that since the 90s. Um, let's see, what else? So, yeah, 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 okay. A YouTuber filed a public records request for audio of the jailhouse phone calls, which reveals Shirley is still communicating with her cheating husband, who has a mistress on the side. He also, I'm sorry, he was charged with operating a credit repair scam, along with his mistress, Erica King, 48, who allegedly pretended to be his attorney. King is currently out on bond awaiting trial. Girl, what? There are also jailhouse phone calls between Ernesto and his mistress that you can listen to here. And the latest phone Phone call leak. Shirley tells Ernesto that the police seized her truck outside a hair salon in Roswell. She said, "What truck?" Ernesto said, "What do you mean, what truck?" She responded, "Why would why would they do that?" He said. Shirley said police told her the truck was being seized to pay restitution to Ernesto's victims. Girl, girl, are you fucking kidding me? Shirley said police offered her a ride home, but she declined. She said her hairstylist gave her a ride home. What kind of shit is that? Ernesto said, what do you mean? What kind of shit is that? That's what happens when you decide to do illegal shit. Like, like whatever you were doing, scamming people out of their money and you married to this woman. And now she's liable because she's married to you. They taking her cars and her wedding ring and her fucking house. Mm. The same officer that arrested you was there. The uh, the little white lady, she told Ernesto, I guess they've been following me. Shirley said the officer set Ernesto up. Girl, how could he set up, uh, girl? Girl, you still on, girl, you, you still on the phone with this man? You still on the phone with this man? Make it make 
sense because it don't. In December 2022, he was arrested on fraud and child pornography charges. Police allegedly found four indecent photos of an underage child on his computer. Williams was charged with operating a credit repair scam along with his girlfriend who allegedly pretended to be his a lawyer. He pled guilty to being a felon in possession of a weapon. He was sentenced to 23 months in prison. On Friday, Williams was hit with a new with new charges, including rape, aggravated sexual battery, aggravated sodomy, sexual battery, and trafficking a person for sexual servitude. And, and Shirley is still over there on the phone. With Williams doing time in prison, Shirley Strawberry's credibility as a relationship expert is in doubt. Girl, when did she say that and who did she lie to? That's why y'all got to be checking these people's, you know, they resume. Check the resume. The 69-year-old co-host wrote a letter to the judge pleading for her husband to be released on bond, but the, the judge ignored her request. Girl, you acting like a crackhead. This man has caused you to lose everything that you work for. And you literally up here still trying to get him out of jail, still sitting on the phone with him, still sticking beside him after he didn't cheated on you and got you wrapped up in some illegalities. Girl, I didn't get it. I thought I got it. It's a little bit of that in here, though. Girl, what the? You really let this man get you caught up like this? You acting like a crackhead and you fucking too old for this 69 you 69 years old letting this man play with your finances and your life like this like you got enough years ahead of you to regroup and grow everything back this is insane I'm going to need for y'all not to want men this bad I'm going to need for you not to want to be picked this bad you really sitting up there Still being there for putting money on commissary, being emotional support to a man that has basically helped you lose everything. She might have been in on it. She might not have been in on it. Maybe she's sticking beside him because she was in on it. But either way, she's she's the one that's losing cars, houses and all of that stuff. Yeah. Child pornography charges. And you're still sticking beside them. What's wrong with y'all? What's wrong with y'all? Like, for real. You're not getting a dick no more because he in prison. So please explain to me, like, what are you getting out of this? Are you that lonely? Are you that lonely? That's sad to me. Bitch, I'd rather go talk to myself in the mirror than let a nigga with cheekbones like that manipulate me. Like, this is insane. You out here... On the jail call, having casual conversation at 69 with a nigga with child pornography charges and grape. The credit scam is the least of your problems. You messing around with a man that's on some time like that and you still on the phone with him being there for him. Girl, you on drugs. This is this is just disgusting. Something really be wrong with y'all. Let's just go ahead and move on, girl. Let's just go ahead and move on because 